What is up, guys? This is Pwn Source Rex, and today we're going to be discussing the Bitmain Antminer L3 Plus, how to attach it to NiceHash, how to check your estimated profitability on NiceHash, how to check your actual profitability on NiceHash, and whether or not we want to use NiceHash in the future with our L3 Plus miners. So, first off, this is not financial advice. This is just what I personally do when I'm looking at a new mining pool to go into and how I determine whether or not I want to use that pool. You guys should seek financial advisors or um, do your own research before spending your hard-earned cash. So, if it is your first time here, welcome. Make sure to take a second to subscribe and like to the video. And, uh, well, let's uh, get started. So first off, we're going to go to the nice hash homepage right here, and we are going to go down to check your profits. You click that. You go. This is the profitability calculator. We're going to go to enter your hardware manually. Right here, you're going to pick your personal currency, and you're going to put in your electrical costs. Okay, you're going to go down to the device. We are doing the L3 Plus today, so we're going to pick the Antminer L3 Plus and we're gonna hit calculate all right so right now it is saying 816 is how much we're gonna make a day in this very moment which is on august 29th at about 9 17 p.m or 21 17 uh, military time if that's what you use all right now let's go over here now this is what your dashboard is going to look like when you create an account now I don't think that I have to explain how to create an account but if you guys want me to go through that explanation for you uh, put it in the comments below and I will do so once you've gone through the big hoops and all that and you've uh, supplied your email address your wallet address and all that garbage and you're here and you want to add your you want to add a rig you're gonna click this mining right here now, what you're going to do is you're going to go right up here to the top right and you're going to click Download Miner or Add ASIC. You click that and then down here, underneath these three, the fourth one down is Connect Your ASIC Device. You're going to click that. You're going to see here, Select ASIC. You're going to go down this list and you're going to pick Bitmain Antminer L3 Plus. If you had any sort of ASIC miner, you can select it right on that list, and then right here, they're going to ask you to download their firmware. Now, with their firmware, they're saying you're going to make 816 a day. Now, I have always met or exceeded that using normal firmware. The reason why I do not use their firmware is they want 3% off the top. Um, I don't feel like giving them an extra 3%. I'm already paying all kinds of fees. I'm not downloading their firmware. I personally don't want to use it. So I'm going to click, I want to configure the Stratum server manually. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to type in Rex4 because that is the name of my miner that is on um, here. And that's just going to help you guys translate quicker so over here select the algorithm if you were using the s9 or something like that you'd use sha256 but because this is now three plus we're using script we click script we select our location they have four locations available to me they may have other ones available to other people but anyway i have us east west and europe north and west i'm going to click us east because i am on the east coast of the united states and then down here they have your stuff you need in order to attach what you're going to do is then you're going to bring up your ant miner and here is the ant miner uh, l3 plus standard firmware and here's the url the worker and the password just like here you have the url the username which is the worker name or and the password okay once you have attached to the server with your ASIC, you're gonna come up here under rigs and we're gonna just click right on the rig name. Okay, so here we are with Rex4 and we're gonna go down and look at all the algorithms. I clicked off all the algorithms and we're looking straight at just Rex4. And what you can do is you can click on your week, 
day and six hours. And that is going to tell you how much you made in Bitcoin. And of course, if you click it, it'll tell you in the US dollars um, in this particular instance. So we made 0.00017287 um, and 0 0.00017251, which if we bring up the calculator and we go, let's just do 48,000 times 0 0.00017251 equals 828. Um, that is what I made over the last week on average. And I am good with that. Over the last day, I made, um, let's clear that out and go 0 0.00017287 times 48,000 again equals 829. So they said I was going to make 816 in the last 24 hours. I made uh, 829. So I am very, very happy with my own firmware without their firmware. But this right here, it will tell you exactly what your average pay rate was over the time frame. And the longer you've been doing this and the longer window, the more accurate it's gonna be. But to compare to the, the estimate that they have, you need to do one day. One day is gonna be a better accurate uh, reading because in one day is the, is the closest because that will be updated every couple hours or whatever and it will change so in order to get an accurate reading of the estimate to the one day uh is you'll use one day but for a better accurate reading for yourself over time you're going to want to use the one week now another neat feature of this is you have this right here this bar right here below and it allows you to narrow down your search of of time frames um and it will actually change according to where you are. And it will tell you a profitability. So let's say Bitcoin spiked or dropped. Um, you could go right in and you could look right at that window of when it, when it went up and when it went down. And you could see how it affected your profitability. Now, that could be used for many, many different ways um, for your uh, knowledge and help in cryptocurrency, whatever. But that is an interesting feature that they have, and I really, really like that. So, guys, that is exactly how you attach your ASIC, and that is exactly how you check your profitability and compare it to their estimated profitability. Now, as far as pros of NiceHash, I really like the ease of use. I like that everything's accessible here. They have these charts. They have... Um, they have profitability estimates for you they they just it's just real easy and nice and clean for an asic miner it's very easy it's also very easy with a gpu miner because they lay everything out for you it's actually easier for a gpu miner to get started than it is for an asic um but to talk about this guys i've got one miner attached to this right now I've got one miner attached to Litecoin pool. I've got one miner attached to F2 pool, and I have one miner attached to um, Poolin. And I'm gonna do one week on all four, and then I'm going to take a look at those and see which one I like best for ease of use, as well as profitability over the course of the week. So make sure to keep your eye out for that video and ring that bell for that. Um, but as far as this goes, I like nice hash, but I don't like how um, the fees are. There tend to be a lot of fees with NiceHash, um, and they tend to be kind of hidden, and you have to look for them. They don't just lay it right out for you. So that kind of um, scares me a little bit. They don't just say 1% or, or something like that, like a lot of other ones do. But what I do like is that they allow you to trade the Coinbase for absolutely free once a day. So that is really, really nice, especially if you have a lot of miners on here. It gives you the ability to just trade for free, uh, move money for free once a day. Oh, so guys, as I had said before, make sure to take a second to subscribe, like the video. You know, if you have any questions or tell me what you think about NiceHash in the comments below. 
And if I don't see you in the comments below, I'll see you in the next video.